Hey guys, Aaron and Dusty here. We are back in the kitchen and we are gonna make you a root veggie stew. Yes, so if you are new to the Eat Move Rest fam, hit that subscribe button up in the corner. Make sure you've got that bell click that'll turn on your notifications. You'll get alerted whenever we put out brand new nutritious and delicious vids on this channel. Yes. As always, give us a thumbs up if you enjoy these cooked dinners that are plant powered and leave us some love in the comments below. Let us know what you thought and be sure to share this with friends and fam because we know that you're all gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> so fall is right around the corner. We are somewhat mixed on it. We're still trying to soak up the sun and we've actually got some pretty <laughs> warm late September weather here, so we're not complaining about that. But being that fall is around the corner, one of our favorite dinners to make is this root veggie stew. Yes, all kinds of amazing veggies are coming into season. We've got all different varieties of sweet potatoes and beets and carrots, all kinds of good stuff. We're gonna throw it into a good hearty stew that'll keep you warm, keep you nourished and fueled throughout your fall and colder winter days. So we bought a pressure cooker, our instant pot about a year ago, and we have seriously been loving it. I'm sure you guys have seen on our channel already. However, we are using the Kosori version of the pressure cooker, and we are seriously loving this. Oh, I think we like it better, actually. It looks sleek. Yes, I like the design better. <laughs> right. There's way more features on it, everything yep. from soup to chili to steamed veggies. You've got the slow cooker, white rice, brown rice. It even distinguishes between the two different types of rice. Yes. You can make yogurt in it, popcorn, just saute your veggies. Like literally so many features, so many buttons to make it user friendly. They've got a steamer rack. They've got a clear lid. These things don't come with the instant pot. The sounds are better and it's actually faster. So we went head to head with our instant pot the other day and this thing cooked up our, our potatoes and our dinner faster. <laughs> so thank you Kosori, you win. We're using it for this video today. So yes, and if you guys are interested in checking it out, yep. the price is very comparable to the instant pot. So yep. you're not at a loss there. And we are giving you a 10% discount. So you're actually at a gain. Totally so right. the discount code is right here. We will also place the link and the code in the description below. For your autumn rainbow root veggie stew, you will be needing one large yellow or sweet onion, about three to four sweet potatoes. This is probably about six cups here. One gigantic beet or about three cups of beets, four carrots, four stalks of celery, one cup of rinsed red lentils, two garlic cloves, and some green curly kale. You will also be needing about four cups of liquid you can use. We're just going with water. You can also use vegetable broth. If you wanna make things a little bit more rich, you can go with a light coconut milk or a coconut cream. We're just sticking to water. Like I said, we're gonna do four cups. You kind of have to test it out for yourself and decide how soupy or how thick you want your stew to be. We like ours a little bit on the thicker side. And then all you're gonna need for flavoring is salt and pepper. So after you get all of your veggies chopped up, start adding them into your kosori. And order is important. So we're gonna start with our onion, garlic, and red lentils because we want to make sure that they are entirely submerged in the liquid. The great thing about red lentils, as you can see, they've kind of caked together. As soon as they hit the liquid, they almost start to expand and dissolve a little bit. So they will thicken up your soup or stew quite a bit, which in my opinion, is desirable. Next up, beets are going in the chute. And side note on this recipe, this is legitimately one of Dusty and I's tried and true classic favorites. It has withstood the test of time. I'm gonna throw in our sweet potatoes. So like I was saying, 
We've been making this recipe without fail for about the past seven years. It was literally like the first recipe that we really got hooked on as vegetarians back in the day. And eventually what helped us to transition all the way because we had begun to work in so much more nutrient dense foods, so much more variety than we had ever tried in the past. And this recipe has just always stuck around. Last step is to pour your liquid into your kosori or pressure cooker. And like I said before, we are going to be leaving the kale out. We'll just lightly steam that on top at the very end. And this will produce a little bit more liquid as those vegetables start to marinate and really cook up. So on that note, one other awesome thing about a pressure cooker, other than the speed and efficiency and the fact that you don't have to babysit it like you would on the stovetop, my biggest concern is nutrient density. So this puppy will conserve up to 90 to 95% of the nutrition in your food. Vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, all intact as much as possible as opposed to the fryer or sauteing or even boiling. So this is all according to the Journal of Food Science. Approved. The last step before we pop the lid on is to add salt and pepper to taste. Something else we've done from time to time is adding some curry powder. So now we're just going to give everything a quick stir. Make sure that everything's evenly distributed. Kind of stir those lentils just a little bit at the bottom. Just make sure that they're submersed in the liquid so that they cook up. Okay, so if you're watching this video and you don't have a pressure cooker, Get one. <laughs> <laughs> but if not, there is still hope. So as Aaron mentioned before, we've been doing this for years and we've been using this old cast iron pot on the stove and it works just the same. Yes, just bring it to a rolling boil, reduce the heat to medium and watch that puppy go. Yep. <laughs> so it will take a little bit longer, but in any case, we're gonna pop the lid on our pressure cooker and go about our day. Right. <laughs> So one important thing is with all pressure cookers, there will be a vent or seal option. You want to make sure this is sealed so that the pressure can build and thoroughly cook your meal. Right. So like we mentioned, Kosori has a lot of features and a lot of options and buttons, which can be very awesome, but also very confusing. You're probably wondering, is this a soup or is it a stew? <laughs> well, because there's a lot of hearty and thick, dense root veggies in here, we're going with the stew option. So you click the stew button, which is going to add a little bit more pressure than the soup feature will. So stew it is, and it's going to be 25 minutes. Don't forget to hit start, which I have done before. This one, you have to hit start. Which I kind of like. I like to be in control. <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, with the pressure cooker, the best thing is that you don't have to babysit it like you do on the stove top. And speaking of babysitting, we are babysitting my nephew tonight. Gotta get some practice for parenting. <laughs> so we're gonna go pick Isaiah up. I'm not outside there. What's this one's name? I like that pretty blue one. Ceratops. Ceratops? Look outside. What about that green one? Tell me about this little cutie. Two green ones. Show me how you can lift. I can lift. Woo -hoo. Give me a wave. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh. <laughs> All right, you guys, time's up. It is time to release the vent. And I would recommend using a moist paper towel or towel on top of it. If you guys didn't see our vegan broccoli cheddar recipe, we had a little bit of a minor explosion. <laughs> Careful because we had soup shoot out <laughs> of the. We filled it too full. We're gonna go ahead and release. I think we're good. You can think of this as your glorified scentsy pot. Your house is gonna smell amazing. <laughs> Are you guys ready to take a look? Ooh, perfection. Very final step is to add our curly kale on top and lightly mix it in and it should cook to perfection. This is looking so, so delicious. So other last steps would be more salt and pepper to taste and another topping that we love to add in is nutritional yeast. 
Okay, you guys, so our rainbow root veggie stew, this tried and true classic, is ready for the enjoyment. We hope you guys loved this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't already, hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you join us here at the Eat, Move, Rest fam. Yep, leave us a comment below. Tell us how much you enjoyed it. I know you're gonna love it. And as always, follow us on all forms of social media, at DB Stanzik, at Aaron Stanzik. Until next time, Eat, move, rest, your best. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. You guys ready for the taste test? Yeah, I am. I'm starving. Me too. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. It's so good. Something about that pressure cooker just brings out all of the flavors. And you know how soups and stews are kind of good second day? Yeah. This is like second day stew. Mm. It literally is second day stew. Those sweet potatoes like disintegrate. And it's just, it's perfect consistency. Love it. Mm -hmm. So good. So good for you. Protein, iron, everything you need. Enjoy, you guys. This fall and winter, this is our go-to stew. We hope you guys enjoy it, too. Is Bo eating his food and we're eating ours? Uh, I don't want to eat. <laughs>